Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to another episode here at Mike's Mods and Customs. Got a little bit of a special one for you today. This is our Double Trouble Build-Off. I've been watching a bunch of videos, getting a bunch of different ideas. I have to do something with Camaros, of course, because I'm a Camaro freak. So we're going to work with these two cars here. So uh, I'm not going to give away too much about what I'm going to do yet. But let's go ahead and... Uh, Get these things drilled apart, and we'll uh, see what kind of so pieces we are. have. It. There is our double trouble pile. So I'm gonna go ahead and get working on some stuff. Get this prepared and ready. Amanda, I hope you're sitting tight. Hope you're comfortable. Hope everything is going as planned. This one's gonna be fun. Hang on. I am doing the double trouble build off with a '67 Camaro and a 1970 Camaro that are gonna become one. Hang in there with me, we got lots more work to do. So, it's gonna be fun, hang on. All right guys, well, so, I definitely may have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew, <clears throat> but I'm gonna drive forward. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> I've got it this far. Um, look at that mess under there. <laughs> um, this is my second attempt to keep these two halves of the castings together. So I've just been working on the roof here to get this smoothed out on the outside. But I cut the bumpers to glue the bumpers in. I mean, if I <laughs> if I get it, if I get this thing to come out to look somewhat decent, it's going to be a miracle. Um, lots of body work to do here. We interrupt this regular programming of this double trouble build off to bring you a major announcement over here at mike's mods and customs we have just hit the next subscriber level of 400 subscribers and for those of you that have been here well you know what that means it's giveaway time make sure that you continue to watch the rest of this video to find out how and what you'll be able to get for winning the 400 subscriber giveaway i want to drive forward see what i come up with here <laughs> so we'll see <laughs> Double trouble build off continues. Hang tight. All right, so here we are uh, making some progress. We got uh, some Tamaya putty filler I've used in there. We got the roof looking pretty good in the center, anyways. Still have to uh, detail up the window openings. But um, the main structure, so this last shot, the, the hood was not level at all. So now with some extra additional grinding and uh, putty work and sanding, it's looking it's looking better. It's not perfect yet, but it's looking better. The trunk is coming out. What I was originally intending to keep the roof line even when I put these together didn't work out, so I'm going to have to fix here and in the back over there. But um, yeah, we're working it. It's going to... Uh, Probably going to take a little bit longer than I wanted to, because this is just the casting. And I still have interior and base to do something with. So, hang tight. Hang in there with me. It's going to be a fun one. Learning a lot as we go along. Working on the front. I got the, uh, continuing the splitter across the front, so that's going to sit and cure. And then I got to do some work on the grill. And I also put a piece of styrene right in here where the exhaust came out on the side of the, uh, the 67 side. So uh we're, we're getting there we're starting to become one right here we have what's going to be the base so that's going to be the next uh next venture all right so here we are with some more progress with the uh double trouble camaro build i uh have it in some more of the heavy primer to fill in some more of the voids it's been uh definitely been a project the front and the back are going to look the most misfit, but the rest of it's coming out pretty decent. It's just a lot of sanding work and filing and sanding and filling and filing and sanding and custom making the base. Because now that the casting is wider than a standard 64th scale casting, I've had to get creative with a base. So I have a base set up here with some axle tubes on it. I just don't know 100% yet of the stance. Uh, I gotta get some test fitted wheels in there and see how it's gonna fit and sit. Um, and then we'll go from there. But um, yeah, you can see right here there's some more spots I gotta sand down, fill in. 
but uh, progress is being made. So uh, this is a this is a good one. Hang in there with me. All right, so I think we're gonna finally uh, call this body finished, satisfactory for now. Um, I got it pretty well smoothed out. I'm gonna next hit it with a base coat of color of some sort to see how it looks that way and then uh, I think we'll be ready to go from there so like I said the front and the rear are gonna look the most misfit but we have the 70 and a half on this side and 1967 on that side all in one casting so okay as I'm uh, watching some other YouTube videos I became inspired about an idea of what to do with my interior honestly I was going to just go with blacked out windows and have no interior at all and then I watched a video and I was inspired by a build so I came back into the into the shop here started looking around to see what I had I had this guy here this little guy was donated to the channel by our good buddy Cole over at Kuda's Diecast Customs I got this early on in my uh, venture here on the YouTube journey and uh, I got to looking at it and I was looking at the width of how much wider this little tuned Camaro was compared to my Camaro and guess what the interior just about fits perfectly alright so here it is guys here's your options you're gonna get your choice of one of these five car sets the five Fast and Furious cars, the five Boulevard cars, the five Classic cars, or the five Walmart exclusive truck set. So you'll have your choice of one of these sets of five and one of my customs of your choice. So. These are the prizes that you can win for the 400 subscriber giveaway. So continue. Keep watching. Keep an eye out for that keyword so you know what to do to win. Anyways, we'll see what happens with that. But I just wanted to give you a quick update there. I took a break, stepped away, watched another video. And uh, yeah, I had new inspiration. So you never know what can happen. So here we go. So we're right now getting ready to go hit the paint booth and put the main, the first main color onto this casting. So hang in there with me. All right, so here we are back. We got the uh, interior complete. We've uh, gone ahead and detailed that up with a couple of different color tones. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> with the pink and purple scheme to kind of go along with our main body color. I just glued in the wheels into the base. My uh, <laughs> redneck, redneck custom built base with my interior. So um, that's all gonna get uh, attached to the bottom of the casting somehow. So next time you see uh, you see me here, we'll be uh, on the turntable for the final reveal of the JDC Double Trouble build. All right, guys, so here we are. Finally, the final reveal of the JDC Double Trouble build. So, what seems like only a few minutes to you guys has definitely been one of the longest, probably one of the most challenging builds that I have encountered in my minimal time of just about a year customizing diecast cars. So, Jay and Amanda, this one is for you and the girls. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you will. Um, it's not exactly as good as I would have liked it to be, but it's uh, it was a challenge. It was very fun to build. So, with many videos and most videos, you always start with, you know, what did... What did it look like before? So, I'm going to show you here <laughs> what we started with. <laughs> I took the two cars, 
and I crazily enough cut them in half <laughs> and I uh, yeah I did what you've seen so here we go that's what we started with so all right as most of you have seen in my earlier videos we always used the Mike's Mods and Customs truck to bring the main product in on the trailer so we're gonna do the same today mainly because this is probably gonna be one of the last videos you're gonna see as a custom from me for quite a while as we prepare to move and venture up north to New York so we now have here our double trouble build off with a 1967 Camaro mated to the 1970 Camaro so we definitely had some fun with this one I did the two-tone paint I tried to do the best I could with the racing stripes the rally stripes and I kinda of totally messed it up not at all pleased with the paint I ran out of clear coat I wasn't about to use another type of clear coat after I'd already used one and then chance having a problem but I used the I chose to use these wheels which are just a factory plastic wheel but uh, we got uh, painted up interior there I'm not sure if you can see that in the interior I did a the two-tone uh, the windows front and back windows were scratch built from a blister pack the interior came from a tuned Camaro, which you've seen. I had to make the splitter on the bottom. Painted up the front nose the best I could there. As well as the back. The back lights came out kind of crappy. No rear bumper. That stripe in the middle got a little messed up. And then we have my Maj Paj of a base that I had to custom make with the axles but it all blended together quite well so there we have Mike's Mars and Customs entry to Jay and Amanda's Double Trouble build for the twin girls so I wanted to do something different like I said before a lot of people did two different cars painted two different ways so I took it to another level and I took two cars and made them one. So congratulations Jay and Amanda. I wish you both the best of luck. It's a pleasure to be a part of the JDC family. Thanks for joining me here for another episode at Mike's Mods and Customs. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button please go right ahead and do so. We'll definitely have a lot more cool content coming for you. This one was a lot of fun. A lot of cha very challenging. Learned a lot. With that said, I'm going to close on out here. Thank you guys. Be healthy, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.